The Polar Horse Heart Rate Monitor has become one of the most significant technological aids in horse training. The key to success of using the heart rate monitor is really knowing what your program is and then using your heart rate monitor to monitor your program. It basically gives you an understanding of, uh, at certain speeds, the type of intense work that you're doing with the animal um, so that you can uh, be in certain zones for certain periods of time and uh, um, without you know, going too far. I mean, if you're jumping off your horse and taking the heart rate, by the time you've done that with a stethoscope, you know, it could have dropped 40 beats. You know, you have to know what it is at any given time, and the only way to do that is with an onboard monitor. Well, we've discovered that it uh, is a great way to actually monitor a horse, mainly because the horse can't tell you what's happening in comparison to a human. Um, it's a great way of finding out uh, exactly what sort of workouts we can do with them, and it's a great way of monitoring in these sorts of environments, in the dark or in the light, uh, just how hard the horse is working. The Polar Horse Heart Rate Monitor plays a vital role, not only in training and competition, but also for the general health and well-being of your horse. Polar of Finland has been developing a transmission system, which can be easily attached, providing a constant signal with the heart rate of your horse. There is no hard wire connection between you and the transmitter, allowing complete freedom of movement. The transmitter has been tested through all disciplines and has passed the strict standards for accuracy and reliability. Riding, driving or just exercising, the Polar Horse Heart Rate Monitor is keeping a check on your horse's health and condition. The Polar Horse Heart Rate Monitor consists of a transmitter and a receiver, and it's very easy to fit on any horse. Abnormal readings of your horse's resting, exercise or recovery heart rate can alert you to immediate or impending problems such as injury, illness or fatigue. Monitoring these heart rates and comparing them to values that you consider normal provides a way to communicate with your horse and make management decisions before any abnormal condition worsens. The resting heart rate can be easily obtained using the Polar Equine Wellness Kit. Simply apply some electrode gel, position the bar near the elbow, and after five seconds, the heart rate is recorded on the receiver. This number is accurate to plus or minus one beat at 180 beats per minute. To attach the special equine transmitter required for continuous heart rate while riding your horse, first place the saddle cloth and saddle on your horse. Buckle up the girth strap. Now put the polar equine transmitter on the horse using some gel on the electrodes. This will assist the conductivity between the horse's coat and the electrode. The negative electrode is placed under the girth strap on the near side opposite the horse's elbow. The positive, without attachment strap, can be placed under the saddle cloth on the off side. Tighten the girth and fasten the surcingle. Then check to get the heart rate on your receiver. You're now ready for your riding instructions. How are you going, mate? Morning. Got two laps on the bit. Uh, six laps, about 185. Um, it's pretty relaxed this morning, so just take them easy. Mike Noonan has been using polar heart rate monitors with outstanding success with sporting teams. He has made the transition to thoroughbred training, applying the same principles with the same success. Well, for many years the, uh, the thoroughbred world has, I think, relied upon a, a lot of um, wives' tales, old wives' tales, which um, now that the science is starting to appear, we can either accept or reject those propositions of the past.
With thoroughbreds, it's important to protect their legs, and as a consequence, we, we work the horses over different surfaces and different uh, resistances, basically, to produce a, 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 um, a training zone for the horse. And the only way you can do this, if you're running a horse up a hill, you've got no idea how hard the horse is working. So we actually need a heart rate monitor to, to be able to tell us, OK, work the horse up the hill at 180 beats or through the sand at 180 beats, and that way we can protect the horse's legs and still give it a very solid workout. No matter what your training mode, your heart rate monitor can guide your training intensity and so provide valuable insights to your training program. The advanced polar horse heart rate monitors are able to store the heart rate. This information can be downloaded for analysis and maintaining a training record. The software program supplied with the interface has a reporting feature which will collate vital training information. Well it's a pretty simple process to download and once we've done that uh, we can have a look at how long a horse is working in a zone, what sort of uh, recoveries it's got and as well as that it'll store for um, the whole session for that particular day and then I can go back and have a look what actually happened you know, weeks ago, months ago so that you can get a complete training program of your horse. Well, the history is crucial once you've uh, decided upon a winning formula and a winning training process. Um, it's, cr it's crucial to be able to go back and analyse what's actually happening with that horse. All horses are different, and so it's uh, important that we can actually make small adjustments to the program. Harness trainers can now drive with their own special horse tachometer. The faster the speed, the greater the heart rate so you'll be able to individualize your training sessions for each horse. The sulky cable will pick up the signal from the transmitter and carry it to the receiver, which is attached to the crossbar. You can now adjust the speed of the horse to ensure its heart rate is in your program's prescribed workout zone. This will enable you to control the gradual preparation of your horse by adjusting the length and intensity of your workout. We recommend that you know the maximum heart rate of each horse in your stable and that you express a workout or zone as a percentage of the maximum heart rate. Jeff Webster, leading Australian harness racing driver trainer, has been driving winners for more than 20 years. Well, I've been using it for nearly two years now and uh, I find the results a great success. I don't think that uh, once you've used them that you'd ever go back to doing it uh, uh, without them because um, the intensity of the work that uh, we work them at, you, you must have some understanding of uh, what you're doing. Since uh, using the heart rate monitors, it adds another dimension to training, whereas previously you would just use your eye and uh, try and establish how hard or soft you've worked a horse. In this situation now, you can uh, exactly determine precisely what his uh, work rate's been. With endurance riding, overtaxing your horse during competition can lead to poor recovery and elimination from the event. Number two. Number two. Number 42. 42. Being able to monitor your horse's heart rate allows you to keep time spent at vet gates to a minimum. Australia's leading endurance rider is Meg Wade. Well, it's so easy to use. Um, the, the new electrodes um, are now giving absolutely accurate readings, which is great. Uh, so now I have no problem now with, um, you know, my readings going haywire. He's, um, he's 85 at the moment, but we've come in pretty fast. I must say, when the new ones came out, the bigger style ones to use with the, with the horses, I actually, when I first looked at them, I thought, mm, I wonder how they'll go. And I've had no problems at all. And the upside has been that the readings I now get are so accurate, but no rubbing problems at all. Heart rate is the most important thing. Once our heart rate's down, our riding time stops. And the quickest way to monitor that is with a heart rate monitor. 48. Great, thank you. Dual Olympic gold medalist Gillian Rolton has been using heart rate monitors as part of her training program for all the Olympic equestrian disciplines, with particular emphasis on her cross-country training programs. 
our horses need to work at peak fitness. They have to compete at peak fitness. And really the only way to know that is by working out heart rates, working out recovery rates, and really know how hard the horse is working in training so that you can mimic what you have to do in training, uh, what you have to do in competition. The key to success of using the heart rate monitor is really knowing what your program is and then using your heart rate monitor to monitor your program, to monitor your progress step by step, day by day, week by week, year by year on your progress towards hopefully winning gold eventually.